She lost her son, but now she's turning her grief into helping other young people stay safe in our community. Atlanta News First reporter Sawyer Bussey reports from East Atlanta on an incredible after school program. In an office space in the community center behind First Iconian Baptist Church in East Atlanta, sits a photo of Jared Brown at 19 years old. A stray bullet would kill him four years later. All because of someone having a conflict with someone else. His mother has never stopped telling his story. This is one of the Jared's Heart of Success spaces. The nonprofit was created to keep her son's story alive. And I just decided that I was no longer going to stand on the sidelines. As a mother, I wanted to affect change. Gun violence prevention is the goal of the organization. They're working to get to kids as early as possible, teaching them how to resolve conflicts without resorting to violence. Felt like it gave me some of my power back. As kids go back to school this fall, some will take part in after school programs that aim to end gun violence. The whole point is making sure no one else goes through what she went through, what she goes through since losing her son. The programs made possible by Sandy Hook Promise, a gun violence prevention organization. They're taught throughout the year after school in several locations, including Stone Mountain and Atlanta. The programs are called Say Hello and Say Something. There's a new weekend program starting as well for the kids and teens who can't make it after school. If they do have a conflict, they'll have the steps to be able to defuse them without seeking violence or um, using a weapon. Charmaine wears Jared's face on her clothes. Her work is her way of telling her son's story, keeping him alive and helping other parents avoid the grief she lives with. I always say that Jared's heart continued to beat through the youth we touch. In East Atlanta, Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.